Hello everyone, Deborah here in my crafting room. Finally getting a video done because my project is finished and by the looks of things I'm about to start one. This one is going to be a trifold mini album and by the looks of things I used up what I had left for chipboard. Actually, I'm going to have two projects going, but I guess everybody is watching this video because it says something about the Mickey Mouse album. Yay, it is finished, and I think I'm going to take some time off from doing this one before I start my second one because I had enough stuff to make two. So the other one is just going to have to wait a little bit because the one I'm working on now is the Once Upon a Time die cuts with a view. So the Mickey Mouse album, the pages measure eight by five and three quarters. It has 14 pages, including the front and back covers, pullouts on each one. I used three paper pads and, like I said, making two albums. Two of the paper pads came from Michael's and I got one that was hanging uh, at Joann's. It didn't have as much paper, but uh, I like the stickers that was in it. So, And also I have a lot of stickers in here from Joann's. Marking down a lot of stuff for Mickey Mouse, so I bought them all <laughs> I could find. So I used uh, my Cricut to make a lot of the die cuts uh, used throughout the album. I have lots of pockets, fold outs going every which way, a lot of uh, photo tags, spots for journaling. Tried to use up uh, every bit of little piece of uh, paper somewhere, you know. All the uh, even pages kind of look the same. They have this part that's held together with a magnet. They all have a little tag here that comes out for journaling. And we also have flip-ups for pictures. Bottoms have a, a pocket. And the pull-out from the side matches the paper. I did two cuts with my uh, Martha Stewart punch. So this black part here would be twice as thick because one is just not just not thick enough. It bends and it can rip too easy, so I doubled it. I think my Martha Stewart punch that I got for this was at Joann's. Most of them I get online from smile.amazon.com. Seems to be the only place I can find the ones I want. So our third page, some... Um, Again, print um, cutouts from my uh, Cricut. And we have a pocket here. And also we have a pocket here. And a little yellow trim. So it makes a pocket stand out a little better. And again, for journaling. And we have a little Mickey Mouse uh, washi tape that I found at Joann's. I could see better if I had my glasses on, but... Okay. 
The gusset on here for these two pages I made a little bit wider. It's a half inch because I wanted these two pages to be able to have a lot of um, fold outs. So we have Mickey uh, Minnie with uh, a little pocket here on the front. A little washi on the top. Use my Sizzix die cut to make a little decorative edge there. Let me grab it. It's right here. Okay. The Spellbinders card creator is the A2 Scallop Borders 1. I think this is the only one that I have. I, I like this one so much. And Otis. Where are you going? Otis, come down here to get me. He says it's time for dinner. Sorry, honey, you've got to wait a minute. Okay, so. I have a little tag in a pocket. I had some a piece of vellum with stars on it. And I put some pink paper in the copy machine. My printer upstairs. Put some pink pen paper in there and just printed stars onto it. So you'll see stars printed on different colored paper throughout the album from that uh, piece of vellum. And we have a little frame for a photo. You can take this out, use this to measure out a piece of picture, and then just push it back in there if you want. Or you can just put the picture on top of this. And again, pretty much all the ones that are on this side have this somewhere. And the flip ups. So everybody has a page in here. Minnie has one, Goofy has one, and everybody else. So we have a couple pockets here for Goofy from the um, Cricut. And Goofy here from the Cricut also. One of these days I'll use the silhouette. One of these days. And Donald's page has a pocket here. And they are all held together with magnets. I've got magnets all throughout this. Oh, that was my Donald. And Donald has a little book. Let's see if I remember Huey, Dewey, and Louie. I think. I'm pretty sure. Huey, Dewey, and Louie. These are some of the stickers. The, I call them poofy stickers because they're raised up. That's a chipboard. Chipboard one right there in the corner. I can lay it down without hitting the handle. And another pocket here. The same punch from Martha Stewart. And then I just backed it behind with the red cardstock so it would uh, stand out a little better. And this is Daisy's page. She does not have the um, flip up with the uh, journal card uh, on the outside. Hers, I put it on the inside flap. And hold with a magnet and another magnet holding this one closed. So I have a pocket here. And a tag with one of the puffy stickers. And again, the um, punch with the yellow backing. And 
booklet for her pic for her pictures there. I'm going to hit this handle. This is held on by a magnet on each side. And we have two pockets here, one on each side. And a pocket here, and a pocket here. And a little bit of a waterfall right in the middle. With a pocket behind it. And matching paper on the pullout. And another page for Mickey. And a chipboard chipboard cut out. I'm not sure where I got these. And we have a pocket on this side, a pocket on this side, and then a little spot behind the M where you can tuck some more. And from the Wish app, I got this. I think it has four other four other um, dies that come along that go along with this one here, and you can tuck behind. And Pluto's page. And one of the cutouts for Pluto. And I believe I got this from the Cricut also. And we have a couple photo mats here. And I put Pluto on a paper clip. Let's see what we got. And on this one, for journaling, Salimi. And a little pocket, just uh, something to fill in this space here. So I made a little pocket with uh, a few little tags. And they're going to fall out, so I'll just set them down. And Mickey's little booklet. Picture mini and a tag a nice big area for a big picture maybe a nice big picture with uh, Mickey and Minnie down in Florida I've yet to go down there. My kids have been there. Grandkids have been there. I have not. And we have flip ups and flip downs. 
held closed by magnets. And pull out. And the back cover, which is the same paper as the front cover. And photo mat. So there you have it. Mickey Mouse is done. And he is going on my website. So if you know anybody who absolutely loves Mickey and friends, share my video with them or tell them to go to debscraftingroom.com. I greatly appreciate it. And one more thing. This is not my only project. Some people already know this is my other project. Took an old book, covered it with canvas, and it's just the right size because this is an eight and a half by eleven, folded in half. That's going to be my signature that I'm going to sew into the book. And this is everything that's going on the book. It's going to be so steampunk. I am going to paper it. I am going to paint it. And these two projects will be the next videos. So until then, see you later.